Welcome to Pink Cross Foundation. Today I have someone very special who's going to share his amazing story. It's heartbreaking, it's emotional, it's inspirational, and I'm very excited to have Sal here today. He is a former gay male porn star. A lot of people think that we enjoy making porn, right? Like, do we enjoy making porn? No. Nope. No. And I want you to hear Sal's story, it'll really touch your heart and really make you think twice about clicking on that porn movie. I'm from El Salvador, but I grew up in the San Fernando Valley. I grew up around gang, you know, there's so many kind of different gangs in the San Fernando Valley. I saw a lot of shootings, drugs, crazy parties, fights, everything you can think of. When I was five, my mom will be gone because she'll be, uh, at that time, she was a stripper. I was raped when I was six years old by two male gang members. They, um, well, the first time they molested me, they touched me, they touched every part of my body. Then, probably a couple months later, um, there was a 24-year-old guy and then a 26, 27-year-old guy, both gang members from the San Fernando Valley, and both of them raped me at the same time. The babysitter left that day. They were at the house doing drugs, I think. The 27, 26 year old guy started touching me. So I was like trying to like move, move away from him. And then the other guy, the 24 year old guy comes up to me and then he pulls me over to him and then he starts kissing me in the mouth. I was like, I'm gonna tell my mommy, I'm gonna tell my mommy. He was like, he was like, shut up. Then the first person that penetrated me was a 27-year-old guy. At that time, I was crying. So I was telling him to stop. He wouldn't listen. And then he slapped me in the face. Then a few, few minutes later goes by, and the 27-year-old guy gets real rough with me. And then he decides to do double penetration on me. And then the other guy came. And he started penetrating me inside. I screamed so loud that he had, both of them had to cover my mouth. It was just like, I never cried, never felt so much pain in my life than since that day. That's when my whole life's changed. Since that day, I didn't want to play with nobody. I was quiet. My mom, was, my mom would ask me what was wrong with me. I wouldn't say nothing. My whole childhood changed. I didn't trust nobody. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't, even till this date, I feel the pain. I feel the pain and I could picture it like if it was yesterday, what they did to me, you know. That day, I stopped playing with toys. That day, <laughs> basically I stopped being a boy. I started um, doing stuff that girls do. I started putting shirts on my head, pretending that I had long hair. I started putting my mom's lipstick. I would watch my mom do her makeup, just learning, learning, you know. And then I remember when I used to watch TV, I used to watch the Hispanic telenovelas and then just look at the guys in the movie. I was like, just picture that guy having sex with me. I was like, I was like, is, is, is that normal? But then I had nobody to ask. When I came out of the closet, I was about 12, 13, and that's when a family member started taking me, looking for diet pills so I could start, so I, so I could lose weight. A family member started taking me to stores, showing me the fame about porn industry, making it look pretty. And that's when he showed me a box cover of a movie. He's like, do you want to be this person? And I was like, no. I was like, I want to be a teacher, you know, so I could teach kids and protect them because I, in my life, I was never protected. The first convention that I went to, I believe, was AdultCon in L.A., and that's when I met um, 
Pamela Peaks. She interviewed me, and um, I started meeting the porn stars at that time, meeting producers, directors, agents, and two years later, when I was 15, that's when um, I did my first photo shoot. At the age of 15, I had my first photo shoot. Devil's Film was the first company that I shot with. It was a blowjob scene. And um, they paid me $400. I shot for Devil's Film when I was 16 for about four times. And then I still wasn't getting too many jobs because I still I was, I was still fat. I was still new in the industry. People didn't know who I was. And then I started doing drugs at the age of 17, 17. I tried Coke for the first time, it tasted nasty. I did not like it, but I kept trying it because I was partying a lot, going clubbing, underage. I tried crystal meth at the age of 18. My first time when I was, I went to a gay club in North Hollywood and bodyguards, they would let me go in. They're like, what's your ID? I'm like, I don't have one. And whatever, I would suck me. Give them blowjobs and go in for free. Buy my crystal in there, do the line and then keep dancing and having a good time. At the age of 17, barely had two years in porn. I was already a drug addict. I was already doing crystal meth. I was already doing coke, crystal meth, popping pills, smoking cigarettes. Um, I was shooting probably once a week, not too much. At that time, I was already, my name was getting built. Um, I was still kind of chunky, but losing weight. At the age of 20, I met someone, that person was Taylor Wayne. She told me, sweetheart, if you wanna make some money, if you wanna last in this industry, you gotta change your image. I was like, what do you mean? She was like, oh, sweetheart, you need to lose weight. I was like, here goes another person that's telling me that I gotta lose weight. So that's when I started doing even more drugs. Instead of doing $60 of crystal meth a day, a week I was spending about $500 on crystal meth. So I shot a scene for JM Productions. They were so demanding. They love to um, degrade people. They love to humiliate girls and guys. They love to just do things that I'm not even, I don't even know. It's like too degrading to, towards human, you know, humans, you know. And then um, I met Lori Lust. Lori Lust has, had been in the industry for about that time. I believe she had four years in the industry. Not too sure. She was with her husband. They own an agency, a talent agency with over 55 girls, probably more. She invited me to her house in Nordrich. That's when I join Lorilla's agency. I was with them for about two years. I never got a job offer. She would just take pictures of me, put them on her website. And then on my first year when I joined the agency, she started doing crystal meth. She started buying the crystal meth for me. And then she started being demanding. She started. She wanted me to start having sex with her husband, Craig Stevens. Sometimes I wouldn't want to go to the party, to the houses with them or to their parties. They would go look for me. You gotta come with us or whatever. So they would make me go to their house and party with them, whatever. They used to throw a lot of big, huge parties where they have orgies, a lot of drugs in the parties, a lot of sex, a lot of underage kids in there. They would buy the drugs, give us drugs, and then at the end of the night, when everybody was gone, I had to have sex with her husband so I could keep continue being in the agency with them. There was one party in particular that Ron Jeremy was the host. 
at Lori Lust party. They had to they had to stop the party because everybody was having sex without condoms. Everybody was getting high. At the age of 21, I was already a tranny. However you want to put it, I had long hair, I was skinny, had the perfect body. That's when I was making tons of money in porn. I still wasn't happy. When the cameras were off, I would go home and be the same miserable person that I was since I got raped. I, um, I was in the porn industry for nine years. I shot with the biggest porn stars ever. At the age of 21, I was named the Latin King of Erotica with Alicia Rio, the Latin Queen of Erotica. She named me the Latin King of Erotica because I shot photo shoots with so many straight female porn stars. I finally got sick of porn. I got, I got tired of all the lies. I was so sick of doing drugs that I knew I needed help. I contacted the Pink Cross Foundation. I went into rehab with Victory Outreach. They helped me with my drug addiction and my past life. And if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for Victory Outreach, and if it wasn't for the Pink Cross Foundation especially, I don't think I'll be here. Thank God to the Pink Cross Foundation. They gave me the resources. They gave me the, the gift. There's not that many people out there that will help porn stars, you know. But the Pink Cross is willing to help, and they are there for us. Every time you click on porn, you are contributing to sex trafficking, and in my case, sex trafficking of minors.